it's not about possession or ownership. It's about sharing mm. and mm. affording other people what we've built on and allowing them in. Yeah. Um, I would say the easiest low hanging fruit that for us to work together on is we in Hong Kong, we, again, we've worked on many young change maker programs. There's a particular program for young change maker incubator, which we worked on with a school. Okay. Because we, we wanted to take an example of if a school in Hong Kong wants to innovate on how to give their student what I call a young global citizenship program, right? Again, global citizen capital is named because I want everyone as part of my community to be a global citizen, no matter your age. Absolutely. And when you approach it from that point of view, we have had in 2020, around 15 to 18 projects from, you know, various, I would say if I look at the numbers, we worked with probably 10 international and local schools in Hong Kong, right? Even in lockdown, frankly, it, it comes and goes. If there's a wave suddenly when the government says, hey, you can go out for two people in person meetings, we seize those few days and we make all these meetings happen. And then we, in, in a safe distance way, clearly wearing masks. And then after that, we go back to, you know, Zoom. So I think the point is, uh, we have youth banging on their doors, our doors saying that kind of, I know this is my calling. I have been lost all my life. I may not be the smartest person in school. I'm not a straight A student, but I really care about no plastics. I care about carbon sinks. I care about carbon emission. I care about all these things. And I look at them and it's like, wow, I mean, great. Welcome to the party. 